Good morning, I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Thursday, January 30th. A four-year-old boy is shot and killed during a North Philadelphia home invasion, according to police. A younger child in the home at the time was not injured. The children's father telling officials the intruders forced their way into his home on North Lambert Street while his wife was at work. The four-year-old was found unresponsive in an upstairs bedroom. Police are investigating the circumstances and looking for possible surveillance video from the neighborhood. More than a dozen people are injured in a huge fire at a King of Prussia apartment complex. Among the injured are police, police officers and a paramedic. Chopper 3 over the Kingswood apartments and townhomes where the two alarm fire broke out just after 10 o'clock last night. The Red, sea, Red Cross is on the scene of the fire and taking care of displaced residents. The cause of that fire is under investigation. PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, wants Puxatawney Phil to retire and be replaced by a robot. Phil and his forefathers have predicted the onset of spring in western Pennsylvania every Groundhog Day for the last 134 years. Groundhog Day is this Sunday. PETA objects to Phil's captivity and the rest of the year, Phil and his companion Phyllis live in a climate-controlled, light-regulated habitat attached to the town library. Oh boy, <laughs> now let's get a check of the forecast. Here's meteorologist Matt Peterson. Hi, Matt. Well, hey there, Janelle. Going to be a good one for us on this Thursday. While it will be cooler than the last few afternoons, at least we have sunshine for most of the day. Now, a couple of clouds will filter in as we go through the afternoon, but generally speaking, we're looking pretty good. High temperatures do remain below average for the first time this week. Overnight tonight, again, dropping it down into the 20s with partly cloudy conditions. And then our Friday as a whole, mostly cloudy through most of the afternoon, but again, still dry and pretty comfortable to round out our work week. Temperatures will jump back up into the 40s. Thursday Thursday across the region, though 38 here in the city, 40 down the shore. Highs will stay in the lower 30s with that mix of sun and clouds up the Poconos. Then tomorrow, we're jumping back up into the 40s. Like I said, 46 degrees in the city, 45 in Trenton on our Friday. We end the work week with a high of 50 degrees even in Atlantic City. Then all eyes turn to the weekend. We're going to have a system that kind of clings the coastline through the day Saturday, and it could even maybe allow for a little bit of wintry mix then on Sunday in the morning as another piece of energy comes out of the Great Lakes. 46 tomorrow after the 38 today. Janelle, we could look for some 50s and even near 60 degrees then early next week. Sounds good to me. All right, Matt, thank you. And remember, you can always get Matt's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the Morning Digital Brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Have a great day.